This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hi, I'm artist Julie a fan Balzer. And not only am I an artist, but I'm also a teacher, an instructor, a coach, all those things because I enjoy helping people with their creativity. So today in this creative coaching video, I want to talk a little bit about organizing. Listen, we all know that there are actually three hobbies that you're dealing with here, right? There's the buying, there's the organizing, and then there's the actually making things. And the organizing actually is a hobby of itself, but it's also really important to making the making of things happen easily and quickly. So today, I wanna give you my three biggest tips on how to successfully organize your art or craft space. Tip number one, label it. I know this seems obvious, you may be the only person who ever walks into your craft space, but you have to label it. And it doesn't matter whether it's handwritten labels or you get a fancy, you know, a sticker maker machine or you print them out on your computer or whatever. It's important to label where everything is because that means that you create your organizational system once and then every single time after that, you don't have to think about it. You just put it where it goes without even worrying about it. So that way, if you take a box off the shelf, the shelf has a marking on it that says, pens or whatever else it is that needs to go there, right? Because you don't want to sort of take everything down and then look and go, wait a second, how did I have this organized before? You never want to think about it again once you've started the organization process. So I always tell people, the first thing you need when you organize is your labels. Get them out, write them down, put them on, and that way your, organiza your organizational system will be sure to stick. So tip number two is actually totally related to tip number one, which is no surprise. Tip number two is that you have to make a system in which things are easy to put away. So I'm gonna talk about the kitchen for a second. Most of us are familiar with the kitchen. And think about your silverware drawer. Now, for most of us, we have some kind of dividing container or something in the silverware drawer, and we know where our spoons, our forks, our knives, all that kind of stuff is, right? So imagine if you pulled open that drawer and inside was a beautiful box that was totally closed and had the spoons inside and then a box that had the knives stacked on top of that. So every time you open that drawer to get to a spoon, you'd have to take the knife box out, then you'd have to take the spoon box out, then you would open it. You know what I mean? You'd be like, it'd be such a pain in the butt. You would stop putting stuff away neatly. You would not want to deal with it. And that's what we do in our art spaces, right? We segregate all my black pens in this pretty box and all my markers into this pretty box. No, 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 no. You need a system that makes things as easy as the silver silverware in your kitchen. For this reason, I love drawers. My studio is full of drawers, big drawers and little drawers and medium sized drawers, just drawers, 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 because drawers allow you to basically mark something and say, hey, my silverware is here or hey, my pens are here and then go ahead and shove the whole thing shut. It makes it easy, easy, easy to put things away. So just keep that in mind. You want things to be easy to put away. That's the most important thing. I think I think people make the mistake sometimes of thinking that they want a system where things are easy to find. And while that is true, finding things is really only half the battle. It is the maintaining of an organizational system that is really the hardest. And if it's hard to put things away, even if they're easy to find, you'll never put them back where they go, so you'll never find them, right? So you need to make things easy to put away, and the easy to find put is really from tip number one, which is label it. Tip number three is all about your brain. The thing is there is no one size fits all solution and anybody who tells you the right way to organize is X, Y, or Z is, well, they're either delusional or a liar. You take your pick. Because all of our brains work differently. So you have to think about how you create. So for instance, I like polka dots. So I might have a stash of things that are organized by polka dots and then a section that's stripes and then a section that's diamonds and then a section, you know, that is random patterns or whatever it is because I look for things by pattern. You may be a person who looks through things by color. So you may wanna have things organized, you know, in rainbow order. You may be a person who looks for things by theme. I like animal theme things, or I'm looking for something that has numbers on it, et cetera, et cetera. You just have to know how you think 
in order to organize. Now that can be a little bit tricky. What I suggest you do if you're not sure is the next time you sit down to create, be a little bit conscious, okay? Maybe even keep a notebook or a scrap piece of paper by your side. And as you're creating, just start to notice, oh gosh, I am looking for things by color I'm noticing, or hey, I see that what I want is particular materials. Like I'm looking for collage paper and I don't really care what color it is. I just want a big pile of collage material here. You know, after a little while and a couple of projects, you will discover exactly the way that your brain works when you're working and then you can organize that way. So there you have it, three tips for how to organize your space. And I hope you find them useful. I hope you'll put them into use. If you need a little extra special help, I hope you'll join me for a coaching session. You can find out more on my website at juliebalzer.com. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I appreciate let it. it. Shine, let it shine, let it shine.